Okay, this is going to be a fast video. I'm just showing you basically that this is uh, <clears throat> this is an older uh, diagram that used to be on uh, UnitedTargetedIndividualsEurope.com's website. You could still find it more than likely uh, by going to YouTube and typing in uh, UnitedTargetedIndividualsEurope.com forward slash nodes. It's probably one of the ways that you can find it. Anyways, this is showing the, the uh, physiological and BCI implants four of them, one going in the back of the head, and check it out, this is exactly the one that's right on top of the neck there, that's exactly where I get my migraines at, right there, okay, uh, I also feel, I also feel stings in my body at this exact locations on my, on my spinal column, at the exact locations at two and number, number four are through, now this right here, these are four implants that are put, oh, okay, okay, uh, uh, in the back of the head and in the spinal column. This is the one that's put in the, uh, the, the these, this is a BCI implant that's put in the brain. This one right here is one that is put in the ear. Okay? And now, now, I want you to notice what this says. Ear implants used for hypnotical programming trigger, wor trigger words. Do you, know, do you notice what that says? Trigger words. Okay, I'm going to make an in-depth video about what all that means so you can completely understand it in layman's terms. Now, I want you to look. I'm, I'm zooming back because I want you to be able to see the following is the same piece of paper. Gang stalking, hypnotic trigger words, pain, anger, depression, and distress. Okay, that's right. And then cover up for the torture of the implants. Implants are activated. Basically, uh, the trigger words are the words that they sensitize the target t to because they've been mentally associated to the harassment and assaults and victimization. Once the words are then remembered, <coughs> they have been attached... <coughs> Hang on a second. See, whenever a person is assaulted, let me just explain this briefly, okay? Like, say if you assault somebody, and as you, and as you are assaulting them, you will say certain words, like gang stalk, or crazy, oh my god, weird, crazy, gang stalk, repetitively, while you're being assaulted, okay? Like, say you are being assaulted, and the person who's assaulting you are saying these words. And basically what they're doing is anchoring the words to the mind, and associating it to the assault. Because as the assault's occurring, the words are being said while you're being laughed at because you're being assaulted. Okay? Then what they'll do is then on subsequent dates get other people to get along your routes to repeat the words. And why is this done? Because when you're being assaulted, your brain kicks in a an eight reflexatory response, which is called disassociation. Uh, it's the brain's way of coping with a life-threatening situation that's happening to you. You being physically assaulted and or raped. That's right. So the way the brain deals with that, because the event is so traumatic and overwhelming, <clears throat> is that the brain will basically form a disassociated state. So the consciousness is not overloaded and overwhelmed as a result of the traumatic event that it's experiencing. Now, as the brain is going into, di into a disassociated mode, the gang stalkers who are assaulting you will associate words and phrases. Then when those words or phrases are represented rep to the target, the target remembers how they've been associated to a traumatic event, event, and so does the brain, and as a result, the brain goes right back to that disassociated state. And when you're in a disassociated state, you're not in a conscious state which means you're not able to critically think your way out of an event when they have st stimulated the, the, the disassociation. That's why it's called hypnotic trigger words, because the brain is automatically almost put in a hypnotic st state to go right back into the disassociation as a result of the trigger words being said, which then stimulates the disassociation because the trigger words are, are associated to the disassociation. Okay? That's why gang stalking is flat out mentioned right in the same exact audio file. And check out what it says. The gang stalking is responsible for the hypnotic trigger words being re-mentioned around the target, which causes pain, anger, de dis uh, depression, and distress. And as a result of that, the implants are activated. Because whenever a target... See, what they basically do is create neural pathways to disassociated states. These neural pathways have frequencies. So what they do, the people that are controlling the implants, is they match the frequency of the implant to the same frequency of the neural pathway that the disassociation, okay, has, has, has been formed to. 
Do you see what I'm saying? So every time the disassociation is stimulated through the hypnotic trigger words, that neural pathway that connects to the disassociation is then the frequency of the implant is modulated to interface with the frequency of the neural pathway that leads to the disassociation. And as a result, every time the gang stalkers get along the target's route and repeat the trigger word, the disassociated state, which has been formed to a neural network, and that neural pathway having a frequency, they modulate the frequency of the implant to interface with that neural pathway. As a result, the implant is activated because it's been stimulated to activate as a result of the neural pathway being activated. They're basically combining the frequency of the implant to the frequency of the neural pathway that is connected to the disassociation. And this is literally how it works. Literally. And if you don't believe me, all you gotta do is research it. Now, I took electrical engineering in school, and I studied the brain extensively for years. Let me show you this implant, this uh, diagram right here. This is showing how remote neural monitoring works with the BCI implant. This is from the same exact website, UnitedTargetedIndividualsEurope.com. Okay? There it is right there. Okay? Now, you can go to Google and YouTube and type in UnitedTargetedIndividualsEurope.com and remote neural monitoring, and you'll flat out be able to see that remote neural monitoring is directly connected to gang stalking. In fact, all you got to do is go to YouTube and type in John Hall Satellite Terrorism. You'll hear him talk about the microwave hearing effect, gang stalking, and remote neural monitoring. Now I want you to listen to this and listen to it well. on FM News 101. This guy is going to explain in part what remote neural monitoring is capable of. That's 888-673-3700. My guest tonight, Daniel Estelin. The book is Trans Evolution, the Coming Age of Human Deconstruction. And I want to ask, uh, you know, Daniel, where can we get this book? I mean, I, I've, I've been, like, looking at it. It's, it's almost like a reference guide. It's, it's done in such a way it gives the timeline, the backdrop of how it all starts, why we are so easily uh, malleable and, and put into the position of softening up for this gradual transition. Where do we pick up the book? Uh, I think the easiest way is to get it through either or Amazon or Barnes & Noble. You can go right to my publisher, Chris Milligan's uh, webpage, tryingdate.com, and uh, get it from them or in any store out there in the United States. And, uh, it's, I think it's taken the country by storm because it's, I think it's the first book that actually puts all of these elements together in you know, kind of a three-dimensional model and explains you know, human history going way, way back, uh, you know, the economy, money, how money works, uh, you know, the future of humanity, transhumanism, space exploration, you know, synthetic biology, and all the elements, you know, in between, such as, uh, for example, the media, the media control, you know, social networking, etc. how all of these elements fit together, you know, in the elite's drive for total control. Right. Let's go down to, uh, we're going to go to Leslie now, calling from California. KOGO, you're on with Daniel Esselin. Go ahead. Yes, hi, Clyde, and hi, Daniel. I appreciate you uh, discussing the subject matter tonight, Clyde. It's very important. And I just wanted to ask your guest and you, Clyde, if you've ever heard of the Blue Brain Project. I don't know. Is that the, uh, Daniel, is that the Avatar Project that she's talking about? I No, I don't think so. I, I haven't heard the terminology. And there's a lot of terms out there. Uh, wh where did you hear this term from? Uh, well, I discovered it on the Internet uh, based on uh, researching mind uploading, mind transfer, and mind hacking. And I ran across the Blue Brain Project. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, yeah, no, it's not called that. Yeah, I, no, it's not called that. It's, uh, it's uh, r and It's called Remote Neural Monitoring. The technology already exists uh, in the United States, in, in England, Spain, Sweden, Germany, and France. And what it does is it allows you to see them, to see through your eyes, hear your thoughts, and upload photos and sense into your brain as real as if you saw, smelled it, you know, in a natural environment. Needless to say, the perpetrators, you know, the, the, the government, you know, can hear what you hear because you become a unit of their main frame. They can change your behavior, affect memory functions, and also, you know, your emotions. And this isn't a plot line of some dystopian novel. This is real. It's actually being implemented today, every day, by the governments, you know, who profess to protect us from evil. Well, and I... And I, and I, and I 
And I think, too, one of the things about this whole blue brain thing, if, I, if, if it is what you're talking about there, Daniel, it's, it's also the idea that they want to create a synthetic brain uh, that they can use or at least uh, do a uh, the, re the reverse engineering idea that was supposed to take place, I think, in 2015 that you were talking about in your book, or that they're saying that they want to somehow find a way to reverse engineer it on the molecular level uh, and um, just basically how it functions and how we can, how people, how they can use it to, like you say, you know, it's all about precog. It's almost like Philip K. Dick stuff going on here, where uh, we're looking at uh, trying to create some sort of a, uh, uh, I don't know, a, a facsimile of neuron software for the benefit of uh, having our own little brain in a box. I think maybe something like that. Does, does that, uh, Leslie? Does that uh, help you there? Well, I, I uh, yes, it does, sir. And I, and I, I wanted to say. Thank you very much to Daniel for writing a book because people need to be informed about what's going on, you know? Right. And I want to I want to thank you, Clyde, for covering the show tonight because in closing, if you don't mind me saying so, when we, when, when we take a look at this kind of stuff, we maybe can then ask ourselves, where are they getting the human subjects at to experiment with this stuff? Right, and, and how is it now that they're able to tap into the zeitgeist so easily and touch on the very things that we're thinking about even before they're produced? It's almost causal uh, engineering, and they do so. It's not magic anymore. It's causal engineering because they know what the spirit is thinking, the brain is thinking, how it's functioning, how high it's functioning, how low it's functioning, fun functioning, what we're responding to, what stimulus we don't like, what we do like, and what will traumatize us even more if they turn it up. I mean, it's almost like artificial stimulation with hyper-reality. It's amazing. Let's Thank you for the call. Daniel, more to come from you. Daniel Esselin, my guest tonight on Ground Zero. Okay, now what I want you to understand here is that when these hypnotic trigger words activate the implant, targeted individuals are tortured. Ready, uh, uh, the hypnotic words trigger sensations of radiations, bad taste, unbearable fatigue, pain in the inner organs, headaches, I got a migraine right now, dizziness and the like, and much more. Now, this right here, just real fast, is a diagram showing you what remote neural monitoring is. And um, basically, it's nothing but a, a network of computers that's able to monitor you from a distance. There it says it right there, with remote neural monitoring. Okay? Now, what we got to understand here is that I'm going to cover up the website because it's dedicated from, but all you got to do is go to YouTube and type in Biotronics. Okay? Uh, and, and basically what it is, is it's neurophysiological uh, monitoring. They can monitor the uh, simulsensory evoked potentials, everything. Your video cortex, your audio cortex, your spinal cord evoked uh, evoke potentials, your transcranial, uh, your cortical mapping, brain mapping is what it is, everything. There's your video cortex right there, your audio cortex. That's why Clyde Lewis just said they can literally monitor what you're thinking. Like right now, when I am producing a thought, it goes from subvocal speech, which means the subconscious speech, up through the preconscious and then up into the conscious. So before you even have a conscious thought that has language attached to it, the brain is already aware of what you're thinking because the thoughts actually come from the subconscious. Okay, that's why they call it subvocal speech. That can be YouTubed and Googled. So before the brain is ever even consciously aware of what its thoughts are, because when when it gets transferred from the subconscious to the preconscious, that's when it starts to apply language to it. Okay? But the brain is already aware of what you're gonna say before it gets to the consciousness. They are also aware of what of what you're thinking before you're consciously aware of what you're thinking because this is monitoring you at the subconscious level. And their computers run on trillions of flops per second, faster than the brain. So they, the computer is already monitoring what you're going to say before you even, before the brain <coughs> has even attached language to the thought of what you're going to say. Because the thought came up through the subconscious level. Therefore, they're able to literally know what you're going to say before you even attach language to your thoughts. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why Clyde Lewis said that they even know what you're going to think before it gets processed up into you saying it. He said that towards the end. Go back and listen to it. He just said it in a different way. So basically what it is is they're monitoring what you're, gonna, what you're thinking before you're even fully aware with language of what you're thinking. Okay? Now do you have any idea how dangerous this technology is if criminals, okay, have brain mapped you and you're trying to get help 
from being victimized with it. If you have a thought that you're going to go to a police department and complain about it, they already know it. And if they got organized crime syndicated members in the police department, they're going to be the ones who come out and supposedly hear your complaint. And what do you think they're going to do? Try and petition you into the hospital and the psychiatric floor so they can call you delusional? To protect their shit? I'm not saying that I'm being hit with it. I'm showing it to you. I'm showing you right now that gang stalking is directly connected to remote neural monitoring and neural implantation. And if you don't believe me, you can go to Google right now and type in uh, The Invisible Crime. It's a book written by Mike Fitzhugh Bell. On the cover of that book shows a, a man's head with no hair on it with a neural implant in the middle of it. He's a gang stalking target who wrote a book. He was on Coast to Coast Radio Show on Valentine's Day 2013. The invisible crime means because the crime that's being perpetrated against organized gang stalking targets with this technology, you can't see it because the frequencies that they're monitoring you with are invisible. So, what we gotta do is we gotta understand here is that in organized in organized stalking and gang stalking expeditions, what they want you to, they want to be able to monitor you, okay, in your brain and all your evoked potentials from a distance with frequencies from this equipment, and that's why Mike Fitzhugh Bell called it the invisible crime because you can't see a frequency. Now, when you buy that book, you'll see organized stalking is mentioned on every page in the book. Organized stalking is just another name for gang stalking. Okay? So, uh, when he was on the Coast to Coast radio show, he even said gang stalking. Then he said organized stalking. Gang stalking, hypnotic trigger word, gang stalking is used for the hypnotic trigger words, which stimulates the implant because they're eventually interfaced with the neural pathway that the trigger words form as a result of the harassment and assaults. Ear implants used for hypnotic, hypnotical programming, trigger words. Hypnotic trigger words, gang stalking. All work together. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, you're about ready to hear two guys harassing me, and as they're doing it, they're literally saying gang stalking. Because they wanted me to know that what was happening to me was because of gang stalking. And I'm literally going to play you the audio of that event right now. Friday, I heard a ringing in my ear, and guess what happened Saturday? I came down with a headache. That's right, I was sitting right in this tent when the ringing started in my ear, and I came down with a headache. It's finally going away right now, and today's Sunday. So, that was two individuals that harassed me on Thanksgiving Day, and as they were harassing me, they were saying gang stalk together, gang stalking, and gang is stalking, I'm going to F you up. And this is to show you that gang stalking has been covered on the news. You can go to YouTube and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids. Loud music late at night and is 
Okay, so all you gotta do is go to YouTube and type in Gang Stalking Bullying on Steroids. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.